The original Champlain Bridge opened to traffic in 1962 and was replaced with the Samuel de Champlain Bridge in 2019. Let's look back at the historic deconstruction of this 3.4-kilometer bridge. This unique in Canada project was the largest in JCCBI's history. The JCCBI team first went through a very thorough process to award the contract. A public consultation was then held on the deconstruction. On June 28, cars from 1962, the year the bridge was inaugurated, were the last vehicles to cross the structure. A few months later, groups of people also got to walk on the bridge. July saw the start of the deconstruction work on the Isle de Sur side using a sustainable development approach. The deconstruction also had to include environmental protections. The bridge disappeared from the Montreal landscape as the deconstruction made its way to the South Shore. Work on the Broussard side ended with the complete closure of Highway 132. Constant communication kept the public informed on how the work was progressing. Effective mitigation measures limited impacts on residents. A key operation was the lowering of the main span in a true feat of civil engineering. Keepsake rivets were given out to mark the end of the project. Material reuse reduced the project's environmental footprint. The project finished two months ahead of schedule and on budget, despite a global pandemic. JCCBI earned three honors for the deconstruction. The Canada-wide material reuse competition gave a second life to many steel components. Research and development projects are advancing our knowledge of infrastructure. The Heritage Champlain project is a tangible legacy that will benefit the community while commemorating the bridge. The original Champlain Bridge stood as an iconic landmark of Greater Montreal's landscape for nearly six decades. Its complex and delicate deconstruction was done with respect for the environment and the local population. The JCCBI team is very proud of this achievement.